hey guys welcome back to my channel i came back with another video and this time it's a little different but lip simple eyes and i just want to be away from you guys so long so i did this look while i'm getting ready to work and i'm about to rush out the door now so this is the look um very simple very easy i love it um i put my hair in a sleek ponytail uh i'm watching wearing my natural hair right now so it's a little ratchet but um oh i got all this stuff showing like oh this is not sexy you know but anyway i hope you guys you know like this tutorial um i just want to get back on camera and film a tutorial for you guys i hope you love it i hope you enjoy it if you do it tag me in it it's just very simple so I also wanted to hop on camera and give you an uh, introduction. I didn't do that in my second to the last video when I did this tutorial. So I didn't feel right about that. So I was like, let me get on camera before I shoot this video. So um, if you want to see how I get this look, stay tuned. And I'll see you in the next clip. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. So just jumping right in with foundation. I already have my brows done. I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation with the Real Technique Sponge. This is my first time for both um, products. I really like the foundation. It was a little dark, but that was okay because I like to intensely highlight. So mm, it didn't really bother me that much, but I really did like this sponge. It's a definitely a good dupe for the Beauty Blender. Um, again, this is my first time trying it, so I will, you know, keep working with it to see how I like it. But right now, I'm just blending in all the foundation, and it blended out pretty well. And it lasted me all day. And I'm taking this Shape Tape Concealer, which I really, really love. It's so full coverage, one of the best concealers I ever tried. Um, Although in this video, it didn't really show its full potential because my under eyes were very dry and I should have used a um, eye cream, but I was rushing today, so I don't know why I didn't do that. So that was my fault. Now I'm taking my two setting powders, which is the Sasha Buttercup and the Laura Mercier. I just like this combo. I've been using it a lot lately and it's just perfect. It gives me a flawless finish. I just press that all into my skin. Now I'm taking the Makeup Forever Dual Matte Powder. Best setting powder ever. Like QC Matte, full coverage. I love it. And then I'm taking the Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. And it's just in the shade medium to deep or tan to deep definitely a good shade for me it's not too harsh then I'm going to cut it cut it cut it say with some Laura Mercier just to make my contour a little bit more sharp and I just recently got the IB Rouge so I'm going to take the blush that comes with it which is in glue soft pink and I'm just going to apply that to my apples of my cheeks and I really, really love that as well. Then I'm going to dust away the setting powder. And then I'm taking the Makeup Forever Pro Fusion um, Highlighter in the shade 2. This is a subtle uh, highlighter. So if you want something a little bit more, you can probably just spray a rush with setting powder. It's definitely buildable. Then I'm taking the Mario setting spray and I just like to do this because it just adds moisture back into my face. I've already put my lashes on. I'm using the uh, Laura Lux lashes and gilded. it and right now I'm taking the NYC liner just adding some dots underneath my lash my lower lash line and it just makes my lower lashes appear a lot bigger than what they are because I don't have any and then I added mascara. Now I'm going in with the potion liquid lipstick by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I love it. It's super vampy. I didn't show the whole thing because I was out of focus. Sorry about that, guys. Um, if you want to see how I apply like realistic, please, you know, comment down below. Then I'm taking my best <laughs> Morphe 350 palette, taking that neutral brown shade and just putting it in my crease with my Sigma, I want to say 35 brush, but if not, I'll link that down below also. And that's just adding some definition to crease. I already applied my liner. If you want to see how I apply my liner, I do have a tutorial on that as well. 
and it just gives some definition into you know the crease and then I'm adding that same highlighter into my inner corners just to make my eyes pop just a little bit um, nothing too complicated it's a very very simple lip look but like as I mentioned in the description the it's a bold liner and bold lip and that's what really makes the look and then I'll be right back so guys that is it for my get ready with me um this time I chose to do a bold lip simple eyes very blah blah boom lashes I guess I would say and that's it it's very simple I think anybody can do it um I think the hardest part about this tutorial is putting the lashes on itself but once you learn how to put lashes on, it, it's easy to rock this lip. The lip is not too much. It's very vampy and, you know, very sexy, you know. So I think this would be a good, simple um, video for the holidays. Um, it beats the traditional red lip, which I will do a tutorial on that just to give you another option for those who want to do a little extra you know holiday look so that's it for this video if you have any questions or concerns please leave it in a link down below and don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye guys Everything I do, I do it with a passion If I gotta be a bitch, I'ma be a bad one I'm AI with the designs, do rag Bounce back, game good while we talking practice